I think we're reaching a tipping point in a lot of organizations uh, globally, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's kind of pushing companies uh, for one of, I think, two reasons. Either a leader is innovative and they want to do things differently uh -huh. from the beginning, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or the company has had some sort of near-death experience where they have to do something different, or they've mm -hmm. got some kind of uh, competition coming from places that they've never seen before, mm -hmm. and they, they don't understand what to do about it because things are different, but they can't, but they can't, they can't kind their, of put their finger they on can't it. can't put their finger on right. it. So, so the worst mistake they can make, not knowing what it is they should do, is to just reorganize. <laughs> we like to say that too, yeah, yeah. absolutely. We, talk about that. Why is that such a catastrophe? Well, for, for a lot of reasons, I think before, before we talk about like why a restructure is, is, is such a problem, mm -hmm. um, you have to understand that I think that companies are working under this uh, operating model, or we call it an operating system, kind of like a computer, mm -hmm. and they don't, they don't realize that this operating system, which was actually created what, 50 or 60 years ago mm -hmm. for a much more manufacturing type of, uh, of business where you have lines of authority and everything is driven from the organizational chart. And I think that everybody's worked in these environments for so long that uh, we don't realize that there's really another way to go about uh, like organization development, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. to speak. Uh, so what we try to do with the matrix management ultimately is we're moving away from these, uh, from managing your business from the organizational chart and looking more at the horizontal, which is uh, really where where work gets done. So if you if you think about like how your business operates, everything from supplier input on the, on one side all the way to where. Uh, products and services actually get delivered to the market and mm -hmm. everything in between is how your business operates. Right. It's not it's not operated from the the organizational chart where like I'm reporting to so and so right, and then right. therefore they make all the decisions. And so mm -hmm. when companies the you know unfortunately their first uh, when they want to make an organizational change, their first instinct is to move boxes around on the org chart and, right, right. and deal with the lines of authority. And all that does really is create a lot of chaos because if I'm working in any kind of environment like that, I don't know who I'm reporting to now. I don't know. It just paralyzes the organization because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. The work actually hasn't changed, no, no, right? I, still but, doing work, <laughs> but but everything around it has, and it, it, it it's it's a scary proposition for a lot of the people that work. You made a point too.